What's going on everybody? It's eavesdrop. I hope that everyone in the eavesdrop army is having an awesome Awesome day. Now today what we're doing is we are checking out the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series the 7567 to be specific that is the 2017 model and this is the one with the 4 K screen. There is a ton of videos out on YouTube about this laptop, but most of them are about the one with the awful, awful TN screen, the 1080p TN screen. There is a 1080p IPS screen, I believe only if you are in North America, but this is not either of those versions. This is the 4K IPS screen. This is my first laptop I have ever owned. I've never owned a laptop before. The only computer I have ever owned, you can see right behind me, which I built just before college. I've never owned a computer beside that because I never had the need for one, but let's Stop rambling. Let's get into the Dell Inspiron 15 7567 4K screen edition. So as I always ask when we're doing unboxings, while I'm cutting this open, if you are new and you have not already, make sure that you do subscribe. It is free and also make sure that you do turn on my notifications so you do not miss any of my videos. Now, I'm cutting this seal that says something on it, which I will read in a second. I don't think it's super important, but we're gonna read it anyways. It says, if this seal is broken or the package is damaged, check contents before signing receipt. Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess it's too late for that. This is a pretty simple box. Most of the reviews I have seen, it was in a, uh, a brown box, which I guess is even more simpler. I don't even know if it said, it did say Dell on it, but it was like in, in just regular ink, just black ink. Uh, so I don't know if this is like a fancier box or what, but it's still pretty dang basic. Maybe that brown box is inside of this box, but over here, it just has some warnings for shipping and all that stuff. And beside that, it's just, it just says Dell, man. Any, any Dell laptop could be in this box and you, you know, it, it would fit. All right. So let's pull open this tab here, which should come out not very easily jesus at least i know that it's tight and the laptop's not gonna fall out okay there we go we got the first tab open we'll pop the second tab open and it looks like this is the only box that is that it is inside and there's no like separate oh my god that's probably the worst sound ever I i'm sorry you had to hear that but here we go flip open all the tabs and we are greeted with this we are greeted with basically just the eggshell to protect the laptop and what i believe here is the power brick if i can take it out can i take this out without pulling out the laptop all right here we go there's the power brick it's pretty it's i mean it's not huge like i said i've never owned a laptop before um, so I'm not, I don't have much to compare it to, but this isn't too bad. It's no Xbox One uh, or Xbox 360 power brick size, which was absolutely redonkulous. So, I mean, it's not not too bad, probably about an inch thick. And probably at, at looking at this angle, it's about the same size as a phone, I would say. And it does come with a strap on here. So it looks like you can strap up the, uh, the cord if you would like with this strap right here, uh, up against just like that i would assume bada boom bada bing there we go so i guess you, you can do that which is pretty cool but you're not here for a charging brick or a piece of plastic you are here for the laptop and maybe even particularly the 4k version of the laptop which uh like as as i said earlier there's not very many reviews or unboxings on it so throw that off to the side and pull out the beauty the laptop and try not to drop it and as you could you could tell by, by my voice this is a pretty heavy laptop it's not meant to be ultra light or anything i believe it's about five pounds i'll put the the weight on the screen also i will be editing this entire video on this bad boy right here but let's put this down really quick so we can see what else is inside of the box right here we have some paper that no one is ever going to read but they have to include it anyways for legal reasons and it probably has something about the warranty on there uh, in case we need that and then here i believe this is probably yeah so this is the other half of the power brick so basically just a power brick where you have to plug the, uh, the the two sides into one another which is most power bricks um, but beside that boom our box is empty which means we can throw that off to the side put this down and pick up the beauty the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 gaming 7567 I won't actually be using this very much for gaming some of you guys might be wondering that eavesdrop you could have bought the Acer Helios 300 and gotten a 1060 and it would have been even cheaper because if you do know the the price of this version the 4k version is about 12.99 the, the Acer Helios is 10.99 comes with a 1060 this has a 1050 Ti inside of it so in that case it's under power but that's not what I'm using it for I got the 4k screen which is also IPS because I want to edit videos on the go with this beast and as i'm holding this with two hands it's actually really it's really not that heavy i've held heavier laptops in the past and uh you know it's really not that thick either but let's take this plastic off of it so we can stop talking about it with it in some plastic oh 
plastic that's covering up its true colors, its true identity. And let's slip off the bag and reveal the gorgeous laptop that is underneath. Now it does attract some fingerprints, but I think these will wipe off and I love, I saw this laptop first at Best Buy, like in, in real life, I saw it first at Best Buy. I'd seen tons of reviews on it. And I was like, yeah, it's a cool laptop. You can get it, it, it ranges from $800 to, you know, $1299, which is the highest one. Uh, cool laptop. But when I first touched this laptop at Best Buy, I fell in love because it just felt so damn quality for being the budget range and there we go so up top we got a webcam right here right here we have the 4k ips screen and according to uh some stuff i saw online it's about 97 percent color accurate which is like i was saying earlier which is why i bought it because i wanted a laptop that i could edit video on that also had had a decent powerful chip inside that if i wanted to i could play some games on but that is definitely 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 a secondary use for this laptop and once we take off the keyboard foam because this i guess this this is just thin foam uh we do reveal the keyboard right here which is a chiclet style keyboard and it is in red and black i believe some of the international versions this highest uh configuration comes with um, like a white backlight, but I'm not sure. So if you get in North America, this is what it's gonna be rocking with is the red chiclet style keys. Well, the keys are black and then the lettering is red, except for the W, A, S, and D keys, which are outlined in red as well. Uh, we all know why, if you're a gamer, you know why those are outlined in red. But beside that, we got a Dell sticker here. We got an Intel Core i7 sticker right here and an Nvidia GeForce GTX sticker right here for the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti that is inside this laptop. Let's close her on up so we can see the front grille, which right there you can see the red coming across, kind of that Spider-Man theme. This is the laptop that is featured in Spider-Man Homecoming. I don't know if they originally designed it to look like that or not, but uh, hey, it, it turned out to look like Spider-Man and it's in Spider-Man, so maybe that just happened. But on the back, we do have the, from what I hear, very great heat dissipation heat grill. So right here it is in red and then the hinge mechanism all the way through the back is in that beautiful gray color which almost matches the gray black of my shirt. And right there is the all red Dell logo which does not light up if you were wondering which I am glad it doesn't light up. But some of you may have been hoping for a laptop with, with a light up logo. This is not going to be it. On the left side here we do have the Kensington lock with the power cable slot, a USB 3.0 and an SD card slot. On the right side of the laptop we have the headphone jack slash mic jack with two more USB 3.0 ports and HDMI port. I'm honestly not sure whether it is 2.0 or 1.4. I'm hoping it's 2.0, but I would imagine it might be 1.4 since this is a budget level laptop. And then lastly, we do have the ethernet jack here for when I'm uploading a video, I ain't gonna be on that Wi-Fi, man. I'm gonna be wired in so I can get the fastest possible speeds. Now, lastly here on the bottom, it does say Inspiron, but we also have a few other things. We have some heat vents here. We have the sub woof here for these speakers, which is kind of awesome. It was a decent selling point for me. I was like, you know what? If I'm going to have a laptop and it's going to have speakers, might as well have a good one. Uh, and, and with a subwoofer, you know, it, it's just going to improve the sound that much more. On the bottom, it also says Inspiron. And it has the usual sticker that's on like every electronic with a bunch of information about the electronics. And then right here, this one screw, this one screw will open up the laptop to reveal a bunch of stuff you can replace. I'm not going to open it up right now because I really don't need to. But let me tell you guys what is inside since we're kind of transferring onto what is inside of this version of the laptop, the 1299 edition. We'll power it on to see what happens when we do power it on. So this is an unboxing, might as well turn it on. But inside of this laptop is a 512 gigabyte NVMe M.2 SSD. So it's gonna have insanely fast speeds because it's not even a SATA SSD. It is an M.2 NVMe uh, PCIe SSD. I think th there's so many things to cover there, but I, I, I think I covered them all. So it's gonna be even faster than your normal SSD and it's gonna be light years beyond light years beyond a normal spinning hard drive, be it a 5,400 drive or a 7,200 RPM drive. It's, ju it's just gonna- I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Cortana, I'm making a video, doc. Or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. Yeah, I would you like you like if you, you need to an stay quiet. Screen reader. Got him. All right, so there you can see the red backlight somewhat. It is light outside, so you might not be able to see it very well, but in the dark that will provide you with some light that you can type on or game on or do whatever you're going to do with this laptop. Also inside of this laptop is an Intel Core i7 7700HQ quad core processor with hyper threading, which is going to be a beast 
for editing videos, which like I said, is the main reason that I did buy this laptop. Also inside of this laptop is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, which if you wanna look up numbers for that, I'm not gonna provide you with that because there is just a plethora of results and numbers from not only this laptop, but the desktop variant, other laptops with the 1050 Ti, et cetera, all over YouTube. So I'm not gonna make this video about that. And one of the coolest things about this laptop, as well as a few other laptops in this same budget range, is it has an open slot for either an SSD or a spinning hard drive. That is a 2.5 inch variant. Now, if you get one of these laptops that already has that slot filled, for example, mine only has the M.2 slot filled, so I do have that open slot. But if you get one of the ones that is an SSD plus a hard drive, that slot will be filled with that hard drive. But if you get one, either I believe there's a 256 gigabyte SSD variant or this variant with the 512 M.2 NVMe PCIe SSD, um, if, you, if you get that variant, then it's gonna have an open slot, I believe it's like right about here or here, that you can fill with a 2.5 inch drive, which is absolutely insane in my opinion, because I'm probably gonna install another drive, either like a four terabyte spinning hard drive or like a, another 512 gigabyte SSD. So I'm just gonna have a ton of space in here. And I, I just think it's super cool that you have so much upgradability for this price of laptop. This laptop also comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM in single channel, which means I have an open channel. It, it does have two slots, which means I have an open slot to install 16 more gigabytes of RAM into this laptop, which is pretty dope. I don't know if I'll need 32 gigabytes, but in the future, let's say a few years down the line, I, maybe 32 gigabytes will be standard because technology has advanced so far. I wouldn't go below eight as it is right now. So 16 will probably be that lower boundary coming here soon. And when that happens, I could always upgrade, throw in another stick, albeit decently uh, expensive. Okay, so I think that is about it for this laptop. But the last thing that I do want to do is play some sound from it so you can see how these speakers sound with both the subwoofer, which I imagine would sound a little bit better on a table, but this is, this, this is what we're gonna be working with and, and the regular speakers. So let's play an audio file. This is DJ Quads Into My Life, um, posted on Bass Rebels if you wanna check it out. Um, but let's uh, play this here. Okay, now to me, these sound absolutely incredible compared to other laptop speakers that I've heard. But like I said, I've never owned a laptop myself. So this is just going off of me like having small interactions with other people's laptop speakers or laptop speakers in stores, etc. But I think that with the subwoofer and also just this, the regular speakers, by the way, it was on 75% volume. This laptop sound, the, the, the sound coming from this laptop is absolutely insane. I don't know if you want to do any video editing or anything with just the sound from here but I do think that if you want to just watch a movie on here you're not going to absolutely need headphones because the sound coming out of this thing uh, is, is fantastic in my non audio file very noob laptop slash uh, sound reviewing experience it sounds great. So you guys, that is gonna be it for the Dell Inspiron 15 7567 7000 series gaming edition 4K screen edition laptop slash notebook. I think I got everything in there. If you guys did enjoy this video and you are new, make sure that you do subscribe. It is free. Also make sure you turn on notifications so you can see my videos as soon as they go live. If you guys have any more questions about this laptop, things that I did not answer in this video, let me know down in the comment section below and I will try to get to every single question that you do post down there. Uh, Cause I know there probably will be a few questions at least about the 4K version of the laptop. Because like I said, there's a few reviews out there, but most of them are about the 1080p one, especially the one with the TN screen, because that's what everybody knocks. But that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you click one of the videos on the screen. I will see you guys later. Have an awesome, awesome day. And as always, I have an eavesdrop and I'm out.